Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm bringing you a little cup battle against 741-852-BEC, uh, who I battled once before in OU. He hicked my butt. But today we are on my turf. We are playing Little Cup, and this is his very first Little Cup battle, he said. His very, very first, so I decided what the hell, I'd go easy on him. I would bring my crappier of my two Little Cup teams, which is good because I'm still thinking I don't want to play Little Cup for a while with my, like, actual competitive team, because I don't know what to do about the fact that Murkrow is gone. Um, or rather, I do know what I'm doing about that. I just, um, want Mischievous to be gone, too. Anyway, <clears throat> he had brought a Mischievous, and I'm thinking, crap, I am really worried this is going to end turn out just like my last little cup battle with this team, where my opponent brought in a Mischievous. But I'm thinking, I'm just going to be more careful this time. I'll learn from my mistakes. He leads off, uh, so he's got a um, Fletchling out now. I did not want to lose my Surge Skit turn one. Uh, and he went for a Swords Dance on the expected switch. Uh, as a since I switched out my Chin Chow, he obviously is going to need to switch out. He goes out now into his Pharaoh Seed, 100% counter for Chin Chow. I may want to run Hidden Power Fire on a Chin Chow at, one, at some point in my life, but actually I don't think it would, you know, Pharaoh Seed is really darn bulky. So anyway, he's going to set up a layer of spikes. I do have a spinner on this team that's actually immune to spikes, so that is a good thing to have. Uh, I am thinking it's probably safe to set up Sticky Web because he doesn't have a spinner, and um, I don't think he has anyone who could defog either. Uh, he goes ahead and sets up Leech Seed. So far, this is this is the same set that uh, my Pharaoh Seed runs, uh, namely, so mine runs Stealth Rock, uh, Spikes, Leech Seed and Protect. He's got at least the Spikes and the, uh, and the Leech Seed, um, but those are kind of standard. So anyway, I go now into Neskaton here. Um, he goes for the Seed Bomb, so obviously not the same set because mine has no attacking moves. Does more than half, and that's not good. Uh, so I could I could Rapid Spin here, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go on now into I... <clears throat> And I'm pretty sure I can survive a seed bomb, uh, but I guess I'm about to find out. And indeed I do, and what's really great is that I get down to half health, and I'm going to recover all that health thanks to my berry juice. So now he's going to want to switch out, and I was counting on that. Uh, so rather than actually go for an attacking move, I go for the sub. And so now I'm behind a sub, and look at who's out on the field. It's Mischievous. I'm behind the sub. This is the exact position I wanted to be in in the last battle. And so he goes for the Dazzling it's gonna break my sub, but that's just fine. That's completely and totally okay. Oh, and he's life orb, not even uh, Eviolate, so I can go for the Night Slash, and I can pretty much guarantee that... Oh, it didn't KO, but it was really close. So it didn't quite KO, but that's really okay. I'm gonna switch out now. Uh, gonna go out into Keats, uh, because I'm sort of, kind of, sort of foddering someone. Um, you know, Keats is set up... Uh, so it goes for the Destiny Bond. That was actually kind of a strange move because I would have just gone for the sub, but whatever. Um, so if I stayed in with um, with Inky. But anyway, I lose... Um, so, yeah, so Mr. Biz goes down. He screwed up really bad there. Uh, I went for the uh, Rain Dance. Yeah, I'm not exactly... So, I'm not exactly sure what my opponent was planning on doing there, but now Surskit is out, is going to be faster than anyone on his team, except for freaking Gale Wings is going to screw me over. Uh, he's going to go ahead and go for the Acrobatics. I just figured, let's fodder Keats. Keats is down to low health. Um, just get rid of it and I'll get the free switch into someone else. And that someone else is going to be Long Claw um, instead of Chin Chow um, because he's still got the Pharaoh Seed. So, going to withdraw the Fletchling. That's okay. Um, out is now is going to come Bunnelby. Bunnelby is a little bit scary, not really that scary. I mean, the huge power is kind of a thing. I go for the Iron Head. Uh, it does a massive amount of damage. Now, I'm pretty sure that I outspeed, and indeed I do, so I go for another Iron Head and take out Bunnelby before it can attack me. Uh, do note that if it had gone for Earthquake, it wouldn't have been stabbed because Bunnelby is just normal type. Uh, now it is going to come Swin Up, and I obviously outspeed. I could go for the Iron Head and probably one hit KO, but it might have a Focus Sash, and if it does, that is not good. So so I go now out into Minimus, Minimus, uh, who should take the Earthquake just fine. Uh, he actually withdraws one up. I do not know what the deal was there. Uh, and now out is going to come a, a his Pharaoh Seed, um, which is going to block all, excuse me, going to block all my moves. I don't have, I, I only have one move that can do damage to it or do anything to it. 
and that's Giga Drain, and that's Resistance, so not the best plan. I'm going to set out Long Claw here. Hope he doesn't go for... Yeah, it goes for the spikes, that's fine. That's now two layers of spikes. I'm really going to want to spin that away uh, the next chance I get, but no, it doesn't have to be now. I go for the Sacred Sword. It does a lot of damage. It does not KO, obviously, um, but that's fine. I can take it out on the next turn. Although he goes for the Leech Seed, I'm thinking your Leech Seed is usually paired with Protect. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to go for the, um, the, uh, I just have to attack and just hope that he doesn't protect or maybe switch that into someone else. So I go for another Sacred Sword. I, I should note, though, that I could have gone for Shadow Claw and probably came at that range of health because it's not resisted, not in Gen 6. Uh, so anyway, I take out Pharisee, and that is peachy. That is absolutely peachy, and I am totally okay with that. Now it is going to come Chimchar, and I'm thinking, don't want to take a Fire Punch. Uh, you know, I've I'm not sure if I'd be faster. I'll put that up in the annotations. I go on now into De Neskaton. Um, you know, it doesn't resist any fire type moves, but it should be able to take something. I don't know. Uh, he goes for the sub. I'm like, sweet. Uh, I can go for the rapid spin now. He can take me out. I don't care. It's totally worth it to get rid of those spikes. And his his uh, spike setter upper is dead. So that's really great for me. Um, Neskaton takes the hit. Very, very happy about that because now I can break his sub with an Earth Power, and um, I'm going to lose Neskaton here, but that's okay. Neskaton did its job. Totally, 100% did its job. It tanked some hits. It spun away the rocks. I'm um, sorry, spikes, not rocks. Um, I am 100% okay with how this turned out. I can now go out into Angler, and I can handle the rest of his team. There's no one left on his team who I can't handle. Um, I go for the Scald. I'm going to take out Chimchar. All right, so the one the one variable is, of course, um, that Swinub, because Swinub, um, I, I'm thinking might be Focus Sash. If it's Scarfed, also, you know, even if it's Scarfed, I don't think it outspeeds Chin Chow because I'm running a decently speedy Chin Chow set. Um, but even so, I don't want to mess with it. I go out into Minimus uh, to take the predicted Earthquake. Uh, you know, it, it's not it's not resisted, but, um, you know, it still should be okay. Uh, it, he gets a crit, and that's kind of lame. He actually outspeeds, which is kind of incredible because, you know, Sticky Web. Uh, I guess Minimus really is that slow, and uh, Icicle Crash is going to deliver the KO. So Minimus is down, and that is sad. That's really sad. But you know what? I, um, okay. I'm gonna go into I, gonna go for the superpower, even if he is sashed. I'll be at plus one defense. I should be okay. Not sash, it turns out. Not sashed at all. Totally awesome. I'm at plus one defense. Um, now, I, I don't have a berry juice. I don't have a violate. So I don't know whether I can take an attack from Fletchling. Thank God Fletchling doesn't get Brave Bird. So I actually outspeed, or amazingly, go for the superpower. So now I'm going to be at plus two. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm not actually sure what the... So it goes for Swords Dance, that's why. Because, um, yeah, so really he should have just attacked. Really he should have just attacked. Although he, you know, he does have the, have the priority. So here comes the acrobatics. But, you know, I'm at plus two defense. I survive on two. Woo woo. Go I. And I can take him out with Ace, uh, really any attack, but I decided to um, end the battle with some Flare, and I went for the Psycho Cut, and that is the game. Uh, great game, 741. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and so long.